proper feeding of rainbow fish is crucial for their health and longevity as it impacts on their growth, immunity and overall well-being. In this video we're going to take a look at feeding rainbow fish, what they eat in their natural habitat, the dietary requirements and the recommended feeding techniques. Rainbow fish are native to various parts of Australia, New Guinea, Southeast Asia. Primarily, they're feeding on small insects that land into the water, crustaceans, plankton and algae. Their diet consists of both animal and plant matter. So you've got to make it crucial to replicate the natural feeding habits as much as you possibly can in the aquarium. To ensure optimal growth, your rainbow fish will require a diverse and well-rounded diet. A balanced diet should consist of a high quality dried food flake like tetramin. I also use the fluval bug bite pellets. I also feed my rainbow fish frozen food. I use frozen daphnia. Uh, a frozen cyclops, bloodworm and brine shrimp, just thaw those out. I do actually add an additive to those as well. When I go to my local store, I see what live food they've got. I tend to get bloodworm, glassworm, uh, daphnia, brine shrimp and I feed that to the also. As I say, they will also eat plant matter, so feed them peas, broccoli, courgette or zucchini, uh, spinach leaves. What you have to do is mimic their natural diet as much as possible to ensure that they receive all the nutrients that they require. When it comes to feeding your rainbow fish, it's important to adopt an appropriate feeding technique to ensure that they receive the nutrition that they need whilst not overfeeding which will affect your water quality and can cause obesity. So portion control is advisable. Feed them small amounts frequently so this ensures that they get the food and no food is then falling to the bottom where it can obviously cause more water quality issues. Not too bad if you have quarries, things like that, because then obviously you're gonna need the food to get down to the bottom. But if it's just a rainbow fish only tank, little and often, rather than dumping a full day's worth of food in, because it's just gonna, a lot of that's gonna go into your plants, it's gonna go down to the, to the substrate and obviously it will cause you some water issues. So when you're feeding, observation is key. It said you feed the amount of food into the water that you want it to be cleared within two to three minutes. If you've still got food floating around the water column after five minutes, you've overfed. So just reduce that amount. Observe, watch, make sure the feeding, two to three minutes, fantastic. To maintain interest and overall health of your rainbow fish, it is vital to vary that diet as much as you possibly can. So alternate between dried food, live food, and frozen. What this does was it'll give you all, or give your fish all the nutrients that they require. Also, it stops a little bit of dietary monotony. If you imagine if you ate the same food every single day, you'd get bored, wouldn't you? So just change that diet up. It just keeps the interest in food alive. So the feeding of your rainbow fish is a crucial part of their care, directly impacts on their growth, their immunity, and their overall well-being. By replicating the natural diet and providing a balanced mixture of high protein flakes, good quality frozen food, live food and vegetable matter, you're ensuring that the fish get all the nutrients that they require. 
by doing this, rainbow fish enthusiasts can ensure that their vibrant companions will thrive in the aquarium. Adopting appropriate feeding techniques such as portion control, observation and a varied diet will further contribute to the health and longevity of your fish and ultimately a well-fed fish will continue to dazzle in your aquarium for years flashing its beautiful colours and its graceful presence. I do hope you found today's video helpful. If you have, can you please press the like button and subscribe to the channel for further content. See you in the next one. Bye now.